Good morning. Today we're going to renew our driver's license. Well, don't you think it's time? We're not going to give you any kind of a test. You don't have to park, or parallel park, or anything like that. But we should go over the fine points of setting your driver properly so it prints color properly using the profile and not getting interference from the driver itself. So there's only a few things you really have to concern yourself with when, when it comes to setting the driver. You have to worry about the paper type, what kind of paper you're going to use, okay, and what kind of size of paper you're going to use, uh, what quality setting you're going to use, turn off the color management, and last item is don't mess with the scaling. Just leave the input size and the output size the same. That's all the complaints we ever get about, I got a set for 8x10, but it's coming out bigger and there's chunks missing, all that kind of stuff. It all comes from somebody put a check mark in the scaling box. Okay, so let's have a look here. We've got the Epson Pro 3880, which is a very popular printer. And we're going to click on the Properties button like that. And we're going to pay attention now to some of the settings. Okay, so what's the paper type we want? Well, I've chosen uh, Luster, the very, very high quality ultra premium Luster paper by Epson. It's excellent. Since this printer has a black and white driver and a color driver, make sure it's set on color. Quality options, click on it, sit, click on quality options. And here you want the highest quality you can slide this slider over to. The fact that we've chosen a very high quality paper, it allows us to take the number five or the highest quality in this Epson driver. Uh, this last item here, this check mark in finest detail, uh, leave it in. It makes 720 PPI input. If you take it out, it's 360. Um, I leave it in. Might as well get the best quality you can out of your printer, right? Unless you're making something huge, but this particular printer I don't think has roll paper. So I would leave it in anyway. Okay, that takes care of that. Now let's go to the uh, color mode. Okay, automatic or custom. Well, if you set on automatic, you're going to have all kinds of things to choose, but we don't want it. We want custom color controls, and we want off. That means no color adjustment coming out of the printer driver. We're going to let QImage do all the color fooling around with, okay? Then we want what size paper? Well, I've chosen USB 11 by 17 for some odd reason, but it's a size, and we'll stick with it, okay? Now let's go to page layout, and this area here is the part I want you to leave alone, the scaling part. Don't touch it. It's this size paper in and this size paper out. And whatever we do, it's going to come out right. You start fooling with check marks in here, you're going to mess yourself up. Okay, that's about it on this particular driver. So let's close this and let's look at the QImage settings page and you'll notice that we've got ultra premium photo paper luster here and we've got the same profile selected here so that they match and now everything is correct okay uh, if you need to check around you can say choose new profile and hit this button here and before you know it you've got oodles and oodles of profiles to choose from make sure you get the right one it's as simple as that Okay, let's switch to another printer. Okay, I've just changed printers to uh, the Epson R2000 and just trying to show you that they're pretty much alike. They may put the uh, button in a different tab or, or move it over to the left or the right, but that's all you got to find is the paper type, the paper size, the level of quality that allows you and turn off the color management and don't mess with the scale. Let's have a quick look here. Okay, properties. And again, we're all set here. We've got the media type. Again, with the photo luster paper. 
we've got color, okay, and we've got quality options, quality controls, okay, like that. Now, this one doesn't have that finest detail because it's that's the way it runs. That's why it's grayed out over here. Okay, but quality is all the way up to the top. We're good there. All right, and we get to mode. We want off, okay? No color management. We turn it off, just like we did in the other one, okay? Here's your paper size. We've got that all set, and that's all there is to it. Page layout, again, this is the do not touch thing. Paper, A3. Output size, same as the input size. And that's the way we want it set. Okay, let's move on to a different printer now. Okay, a different type. Okay, now I've chosen the HP Z3200, which to my eyes is a little unconventional, but nevertheless, they all work pretty much the same. You gotta pick your paper, you gotta pick the size paper, you've got to choose the quality setting, turn off the color management, and don't mess with the scale. It's all the same. Let's have a peek in here, okay? All right, this is the Z3200 driver, okay? You can see that. Well, if we start here, set this for photo because that's what we're doing, okay? Set it for photo. You can go in here and set your page size if you like. I've set it for A2, which is a pretty decent size. Okay. Uh, the paper type, I've chosen the glossy, semi-gloss satin paper, like that. And for the color management, again, off. Okay, here it says RGB, it's got Adobe, but we don't want that. We want the application to manage the color. Now this doesn't really say off, but that's what it means. It means let QImage do it and we're gonna take a nap. Okay, <laughs> essentially that's what that is. Okay, here we're just verifying. We got the A2 size paper and the quality is set as high as it can go. And uh, we're all set in here. Now the features, again, here's actual size, which in HP language is the same as input size and output size should be the same, okay? Don't scale it, don't tick any other boxes in here, you'll mess it up. So that's just pretty simple, that's what this one does. Now, we have to find the profile that matches this paper, semi-gloss, okay, which I've done beforehand to save time, but you can see it's the same profile and uh, what you do is you go in here, you say choose new profile. Okay, so okay, like that. Wrong, wrong, okay. <laughs> choose new profile. <laughs> Click this button. Okay, and there's a whole mess of choices of profiles. Just find the one painstakingly that actually matches that paper and you're all set to go. Okay, simple as that. Okay, and one more little detail here. That's a lot of messing around. You know, set the paper size, set the quality, set the uh, uh, profile, set everything up like that. You don't have to do that every time. What we do, or what I do is, I click the save button like this, okay? And I give this thing a name. Now I've already done it to save time, but nevertheless, I gave it a name. And there it is, Z3200 Professional Satin like that. So I would type that in here, say save, and it's saved. Okay. Now, next time, I'm just going to mess it up on purpose here. Okay. Give me a second. I'll mess it up. Good. Okay. Restart session. So now I've got Canon in here and all that stuff. But if I had also had a Z3200 and I wanted to use that size paper, I just go to the recall button. Slide down till I found that Z printer. Where'd you go? There it is. Click, say open, and there you are. All set up. Everything's set. Driver, paper size, profile, everything is all set properly. And if you 
want to use different size besides A2. You have uh, custom size papers, you have roll papers, you've got A4, A3. To make one of those saves for each size that you like to use. That's not hard to do. Okay, let's move on now and check another printer. Okay, this time we're going to check the Canon printer. Okay, now I did this for a reason, making sure that we're running here. I did this for a reason because making it last, because it's, one thing is a little different than the Canon drivers. Okay, let's get in there and have a look. Okay, properties like that. And here we go. Now we've got the main, in which case we have the same kind of setup. What kind of paper? I've chosen a matte paper on purpose, okay? And the next thing is print quality. I set it on custom, set, and this is the reason I picked the matte paper. I wanted to show you something. I can't go to one. This paper does not allow me to get to number one. This is the highest quality the paper will allow, but it isn't the highest quality the printer will allow. But nevertheless, if I'm using this paper, that's the highest quality I can achieve. Okay, That's the reason I set it to this matte paper, so I could show that to you. Okay, color, set button. Now this is where it's a little different. You have to click on matching. Okay. And in here, you select none. You can see ICM and none. And you say OK. And you are just about done. OK. The only difference was that uh, in here is the scaling part. Don't get off here where it says scaled or fit them. Just leave it on normal. And you'll never have a problem. OK. So, so far, that's where we are. We've got the paper. We've got the quality. We've got the size, okay, A3+, plus, which is 13 by 19, and we're all set to go. Just say save. That's it. Nothing else to it. Okay, I guess that about covers it. If I change the paper to uh, uh, luster or glossy or something, then I'll be allowed to use that number one quality. And again, I save everything like this setup, and when I get into my recall, there's my Canon MP101 cheap matte paper, 13 by 19, because I got good, here's the premium matte, matte, okay? So I got two kinds of matte paper. Anyway, that's how easy it is to save, and that's how easy it is to recall. Okay, I think that about covers it for the drivers. I hope you had fun. I hope you got the hang of it, and just bear in mind, this is not crazy. This is very, very simple. Paper type, the kind of paper you're going to put into the printer. What size is the paper? Not what size is the print. What size is the paper? Okay. The quality setting, as high as you can go. And if it won't go all the way, it's because of the paper. And color management, turn it off. And last item, don't diddle with the scaling. Just leave it alone. Input size, output size, the same. Okay, thanks a lot for listening, and we'll get you next time.